Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your general reading for the month of December for the star sign of Capricorn. So you could be a Capricorn Sun, Moon, Jupiter, Rising or Venus. And if you're new to my channel, hearty welcome to you. Please play around, look around if you like, if you vibe, then you can always hit the like button and subscribe. And if you're a returning user, thank you so much for your support. And also guys, I have a huge discount only for the month of December in my website and the links of the, those private readings are in the description below. You can go in for them if you want to. All right, so without much delay, let's see what's coming towards Capricorn. What, what are you dealing with? What are the things that you're not aware of? They could be your opportunity or threats and what is coming towards you, okay? So what are you dealing with, Capricorn? What could Capricorn be dealing with? What is Capricorn dealing with? All right, let's see. Authority. Some of you, you could be dealing with your partner, your spouse, authority, your boss, somebody who has control of your life, which you are not liking, and you're dealing with balance. There's like, you could be dealing with the Sagittarian or an Aries, and you're dealing with patience and plowing. Okay. You're trying to plan some things for yourself. You're trying to balance money, emotions, work, vitality, strength, stamina. You know, but I feel there is authority. You are not the only decision maker. Or you're getting pulled into authoritative decisions. Maybe there are some legal issues. Okay. Let's just wanted to flip. There are some legal issues. There could be, your, your partner could be very authoritative. You could also come in very strong on people because you're trying to, you have some plans, okay? You're very patiently waiting. Maybe you have some plans for January or 7, maybe for next year, July. Okay? Seven months from now, seven weeks from now, you have some plans. And you're very, you're trying to manage finances and your your holidays and everything accordingly so that you can get a leave that time but it seems like somebody is saying no to it maybe your your leave your sanction is is not sanctioned for some of them it could be that okay so what should you be aware of what is it that you don't know what is worth could be a threat and opportunity for you firstly you have the universe jumping up so this is like a cycle ending, a new beginning. This could also mean travel. Maybe you have some travel coming up. Maybe you wanted to quit your, your person you're dealing with, your boss has rejected because they were thinking of promoting you and you're thinking of quitting because you feel nothing is moving here. They have big plans for you, but this is definitely travel moving forward. You don't know. You don't know yet. Okay, this is universe. There's an end of a cycle. You've just completed it once, okay? So whatever you're planning for and you're patient about, you're trying to balance, just keep doing that because eventually that will happen what is supposed to happen. You cannot put a fast forward to it, okay? And neither can you rewind, rewind it. Okay, so let's see. Prosperity. What did I tell you? There's a new opportunity coming up and you don't know yet. Just wait. Wait till the new opportunity knocks your door. You're not aware of it. There's Ace of Wands with the world. That means something old is ending. You're planning and you're patiently waiting for something old to give you results or your boss to change his way or your partner to change or you're trying to balance your work life or you're balancing your home front, trying to make people happy, but they're not going to work out because there's not the time for that. You don't know. You've just completed a cycle and there's something new coming your way. Okay, and you have movement choices and decisions. You'll be very soon faced with movements, choices, or decisions. Okay, towards your ace of wands. And you'll be, you'll be overwhelmed or you'll be surprised that, oh really, I was planning so much. Maybe you were planning to buy a house in your city and you come to know you've just been transferred. And that's going to happen in, in the month of February or January then your, your, all your patience and planning has gone out of the window because they don't hold waters anymore, okay? 
So something is changing. Something new is coming and it's you have to make, you will be forced to make a choice or a decision. So how does December look for Capricorns? Also, a lot of planets in your 12th house of losses. So this could mean movement overseas, okay? Immigration, mm, isolation. You could be displaced from your place where, where you stay to a new place. So that could be a choice or decision coming up, okay? Could have to travel or a new opportunity. Okay, so what's coming towards you? You have partnerships and alliances. You definitely have something new coming. A new job, a new person, a new group of friends, a new new company. You definitely have something new coming. And this is gradual. You see this? One, two, three. It's going gradual. Okay? So, yeah, you have something new coming your way. You have new... You have new beginnings. Capricorn, you're not aware of all this. You're still fighting this person or this authority or you're fighting yourself. You're trying to balance things. You're trying to get things, you know, okay. You're trying to be diplomatic your way, my way. These are not going to work out because what you're not aware of is that you've completed this. This cannot be, even if you beat this, it's not going to bring the dead horse back to life. So forget it because you don't know you've just completed a cycle. There's something new waiting for you. You have to decide very soon. And that is exactly what is coming towards you by the end of December. A new partnership, new beginning, and you have mental conflict. You, 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 you will be overwhelmed because you are like, I, I have been planning, but I've been, I just was planning. I was thinking that was it. This is it. This is what? Yeah, you have to throw chakras as underlying energy. Some truths. Some truths. Maybe you're hiding some truths or you're, you're trying to control your speech. You're frustrated with this authority, I'm feeling. I'm getting this very heavy energy from there. That you're frustrated with this authority and you're trying to balance with them. You're trying to patiently deal with them, but you don't have to. Yeah, you'll have some mental conflict because you have to make the choice to move. But I feel you you'll be you will be forced to move because there's something new, new work, new partnership coming towards you, and you have to change your old way of life. I'm going to see it from the Den Cat Tarot and also see if these energies mirror or something else comes out. So this just jumped in my lap. Oh, I, I won't be able to show you. This just jumped in my lap. And this was like the world card again. This is innocence. This is like temperance. Okay, this is innocence. So, or the star, you can say. So this just jumped, but I'm not going to take it. I'm going to just leave it here. Uh, what else? What is Capricorn dealing with? What is Capricorn dealing with? What is Capricorn dealing with? Show me what is Capricorn dealing with this month. Existence, yeah. You're trying to coexist with this person. This is like the magician. You're trying to exist with this person. You're trying to balance yourself so that the other person stays happy. You're planning that, okay, next year I'm going to do this. Okay, gradually this person will change or she will change, he will change. They'll change, give them some time. They'll understand. Okay, let me coexist with them. Let me not, you know, let me just do my stuff and let me not conflict with them. Okay, so you, you pretty, that innocence is there that if I don't do anything, nothing wrong will happen. That kind of hope. This is like the star card. So you have that hope that things will work out. But what are you not aware of? What is Capricorn 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 not aware of? Ripeness. This is newfound prosperity. This is like the nine of pentacles. You're going to find new opportunity which is going to be more abundant, okay? You don't have to coexist with this authority, this person, this place, this organization. You're having something better coming your way. That's the right thing, okay? The universe is bringing it to you. It's, it's almost there. Just give it some time. This will be there soon. And you, you will be forced to make a decision to go towards it. So what is coming towards Capricorn? What is coming towards Capricorn? The fruits have ripened, okay? 
What is coming to us, Capricorn? You are fighting the same energy as the mental conflict, and this just flipped in my lap. This just flipped in my lap, the thunderbolt. So you, you are, you're resisting that change. Or maybe you will resist the change, but you cannot do anything about it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. You, you're not realizing it. You will have mental conflicts. You'll try to fight it. But that thunderbolt moment or that tar moment is going to happen. Okay? It's going to happen. You cannot stop it. So embrace the new Embrace the new people, new opportunities. Start fresh, Capricorn. This is what is coming towards you. Start fresh. Okay? All right. So, Capricorn, this was your general reading. I'm going to do your love reading and see what the energies are there. So, I'll see you later with your other readings. Until then, have fun and have a lovely year end. Bye.